Hey guys, so this is going to be my first video. I'm sorry it's a little bit echoey. I haven't figured that part out. Um, so just let me know how terrible it is or if it's actually decent. So that'd be great. Uh, I wanted to go over how 2D shapes are going to rotate to become 3D shapes. Now, I don't like this word rotate. Um, I believe it should be revolve. Um, or instead of rotation, revolution, just because it's moving in a three-dimensional way. So typically, whenever we've been in a class and we've talked about rotation, let's say this right triangle was gonna rotate, it would just turn. However, this new thing, rotating it to turn it into a 3D shape, what they really mean is they usually give you a line and they say rotate it around the line or about the line. What you're actually doing is revolving it around the line as the earth revolves around its axis, if you want to think about it like that. Uh, as you're thinking about it, you want to think as this is revolving, it's leaving an impression of itself each time at every interval, so it creates a three-dimensional shape. So if I was going to draw it, the way I like to draw it is I draw a reflection on the other side of the line, and then to indicate that it's rotating, um, along that part, I'm just going to kind of draw an oval. And that gives you that idea of it revolving around the axis. So if I do that, you'll be able to see that the height is going to be from the vertex of the shape to the base. And then the radius is going to be that part. Now, let's say it is going to revolve around a different line, perhaps a line that is horizontal. So if the revolutions were going this way, you're still gonna get a cone. So a triangle as it does that revolution is gonna turn into a cone. However, as that revolution happens, now the height and the radius are actually switched. So now the height on this one is gonna be that distance and the radius is going to be that distance. And this can continue. Now sometimes you get shapes that are cones. So for instance, if we started with a rectangle and revolved that around this axis, it's going to kind of keep doing these revolutions and you're going to get a cylinder. Um, it would be the same a cylinder if we were to revolve it around a horizontal line. Um, another shape that sometimes we do these revolutions with would be a semicircle. So a semicircle, if you revolve it around, let's say, the vertical line in the middle, it's going to revolve. Now, it has to be perfectly in the middle, but as it's revolving, it's going to create a hemisphere or half of a sphere. And then if it were to revolve instead of around this vertical line, let's say it were to revolve around this horizontal line, well, then you're going to get a, a whole sphere. Um, occasionally, if you place the line that you're revolving it around in, like, not the perfect center or not on a side adjacent to the actual shape, you will get a three-dimensional shape that isn't one that we go over in terms of vocabulary in our class. So, let's say I had a square. And instead of revolving it around a horizontal line along the edge or a vertical line along the edge, let's say we were to revolve it around this diagonal line. Well, it's going to revolve, but it's already reflected. So it's not like you need to draw the reflection. It's already on the other side. It's just spinning. So this is going to kind of turn into a three-dimensional shape. It's not the best drawing. I kind of imagine it to look like a top that you would spin. And we don't go over the name for that shape in our class. So I believe if you were to encounter that, say on like a Khan Academy or something, you could just say none of the above because it would be a three-dimensional shape. It's just not one that we currently name. So I hope this is helpful and let me know how the video turned out. Thanks.